Hey family, welcome back to the channel. So here's a look at what happened yesterday. The kiddos and I went out for some snow cones. They were really, really good. We shared them with you guys. And then we went on and we told you guys bye. We'll see you later. Of course, our day didn't end. If you want to see what we continued on doing, keep on watching. Let's get it. Let's go. so glad you guys came back to finish out the rest of the day with us so we were out didn't want to go home we decided to go over to one of our favorite stores which is roses and i think this may have been joshua's second time in here and boy did he change the trajectory of this trip check it out and cut it out They get kicked out of here. Oh, yeah, like somebody finally let him outside or something. Joshua, do it. Where? Oh, Joshua, you want to go with me? Yeah, let's go. 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 let us go Oh, I like the now that's sex high. Cause you know I need to start building stuff for my trip. So, hmm. I need to oh look at the cupcakes. Oh, well, this is cute too. Yeah, look at the little fringe. Look at that. Joshua. Joshua. He went to the left. Joshua is driving me absolutely nuts. Joshua, step back, please. Boy, if you don't be quiet, talking about he don't want to keep walking, y'all. Yeah. Mm, don't shop with children under 10. So I'm checking out the housing area. It's for the laundry room, but how many things am I going to buy for the laundry room? Oh, look at this, guys. See what all we end up with just because Joshua's here. Y'all know I would not be in no toy department. I think you're just choosing anything. You're not even choosing because you don't have something. You already have a fire truck similar to that. What's cool? This, these are so cool. I just this have fire trucks already. Yeah, you do. You have a lot of fire trucks. Well, well, not just a one. You're not even looking up at all of the stuff. You just grabbing anything. Yeah, see, I just found another fire truck. Mm -hmm. See? Yes, I see that one. Now that, that one is nice. The other one is big. That one is full. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like it. <gasps> Robo! Oh, you see Robo? Yeah. <laughs> what was that noise? What was that noise? The people are working, Joshua, and minding their business. Whoa. Joshua? 
We'll be back, guys, when he makes up his mind. Look at the classic mix. And then look at their logo. Wise Products. Good marketing. Okay, y'all, we are out. We got us some stuff. And go ahead, lady. Joshua is about two seconds from the whooping. <laughs> about to get popped up. And then. Stop! Look what you done did. Yeah, now your whole chest freezing. He spilled. <laughs> <laughs> what he did? Spill that ice? He spilled it down his shirt. <laughs> yeah, I bet you you'll cool out now. Literally. Make no sense. He's gonna be one stinky baby. He's going in the tub. Yeah. Get that butt. Take a bath, brother. Take a bath, A bath, you go. He is jacked all the way up. Mm -mm. Anybody want to come pick up Josh the Boss for the weekend? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be in the comments like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> they like, nah, we cool watching them from over here at our house. You can have them. He cute or whatever. <laughs> mm -mm. So they be. Josh will definitely make you reconsider some things in your life, you know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm, yeah. You know what? You can bring my soul. I'm going to tell everybody. Beyonce did that song. I'll be 60, 65 years old still singing it. I'll be like, I remember she made that. And I was like, I'm going to tell everybody. Everybody. I'm going to tell everybody. It sure was a good song back then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It's a beautiful day, y'all. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Driving around with, I wish I. Okay. Who got you that new fire truck? I, I, I got it. What? Really? Yes. What, what money you have? You bought this yourself? Yes. Whoa. Wow. That's funny. That's not funny. You walked out the store with that? Yes. I saw my kid open. And did you swipe your card? No. <laughs> it's not my card. Right. <laughs> That one? Yeah. Kisses. Nah. Uh. Little nasty kisses. Nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All you care about is your fire truck. Right. Family, it is happy Monday. I know y'all feel like I am. I'm doing. Anyway, I'm not. Um, whatchamacallit? Playing hooky from y'all. I am actually doing laundry. So look at all this stuff. I have to fold. Remind you, I already cleared a whole bed of stuff. And so now, um, oh, these clothes smell so good. So now I'm doing all of our blankets and stuff. So I'm doing our towels, replenishing them in the bathroom. Um, I'm going to show you something else. I'm still putting oil on the inside of my toilet roll tissue. This is the one I use in case you want to know. It is at Dollar Tree Fragrance Oil. And I just pour a little dab right there and rub it all the way through there and through the other side. And I put it on there and we and we closed the door up so it really smells in there um, like that fragrance. And then the extra rolls that we have, like I'm about to restock right there. I put them on all of those as well. So that helps keep uh, the bathroom smelling great. Well, I roll my towels and let me show you what I do for our bathroom. I keep our towels right by the shower and this is our basket. It says laundry today or naked tomorrow. It's meant for the laundry room and I initially put it in there but <laughs> I need it here more so we could just reach out when we're um, in the shower and grab one. I do have the racks. You ever see the floating racks? 
you put about six and you can put your towels there. I'm just, just trying to decide, do I want to do that system or do I want to just decorate that and keep this? Cause I actually, that actually works for us. So I don't know, but of course I'll let y'all know when I decide. For my two towel racks here and here, I prefer my white towels still. So I'm about to put those up. Hey guys, I am making leeway. Y'all see, you can see the bed now. <laughs> so I have like, this is Joshua's sweatsuits. There's some of my clothing. These are some of his jackets that were washed. We're probably gonna go ahead and put those in a plastic bag and put them up. I keep stuff like this in case he goes somewhere where it is cooler. This will be enough warmth for him. This kind of stuff is too heavy. And I did buy it larger. It's in a 5T, so he should be able to wear it again this um, upcoming fall and winter. It is a really good jacket. And I did not want him to outgrow it. Oh, I got me some more of this, guys. Ashley finally brought it down to me. She's had it about a month and kept forgetting to bring it. It's so hard to get. They run out all the time. But this is a concealer that I like to use. I had not been using it, so... Now I have it, and now y'all remind me when I tell y'all ran out again, it's nutmeg 420, okay? Because I cannot remember. All right, um, I like to use this for my eyebrows. Uh, okay, so Josh's clothes is folded there. I have put so much clothes up, I still have another um, thing of laundry in there, and right now we're gonna go down to the room where I iron. Okay, this is where I do my ironing. When I have a lot to do, I just use my husband's office chair. Um, I have not finished my coffee, but I'm going to, even though it's cool, I'm gonna sit it right there. Uh, I have done this shirt, so I just need, I need to go grab his hanger so that I can hang them over to the side. So let me go do that. Okay guys, I got the hangers. I am going to hang them. Behind. Well, I'll just put them on the floor until I, um, I know this thing y'all way, right? <laughs> like, girl, move that, move that. So how's everyone doing? These are his little, uh, what you call these again? They are his long T-sleeves from, long, long T-sleeves. Okay, get it together. These are his long sleeve tees from Children's Place that we put under his uniform on when it's a little cooler and then he doesn't have to wear a jacket if he has those on, okay? Y'all see my little bob? I got some parts of it pent back so that it doesn't keep flipping in my hair. So I'll just take one of those little things and clamp it over there. Yep, and then there I go. So I'm going to Grab his pants, get his pants, his clothes so small, y'all. I don't even, it does not take any time to get them done. So I am probably, y'all let me step here and finish this. And then you guys meet me down in the kitchen in a few moments. We're going to go down and take the flounder out. We're having flounder and some, um, Salad. My husband was not here the day that I made that. Remember, I was home alone. So he's here now. So um, he is napping, and I want to make that. That's just going to be dinner. So I'll start it up about time when it's time for Josh the boss to come home. So I only had two slices out, two slices, two pieces, because I was going to eat that for lunch. But I've pretty much skipped lunch and had coffee. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it for dinner instead. That way he can enjoy it this time. Look, and I could do, I could have three slices, three pieces. <laughs> I'll meet y'all downstairs. beat me downstairs how's it going I have dishes to put up so we're going to do that and then we're going to take out the fish okay
to cook. We are about to cook. We're getting pots and pans ready for our fish. So I do not have to worry about picking him up. I can just go ahead. This is our grease can. Go ahead and get dinner started. Oh, that's good. And guess what? This is going to be the last part of the vlog, honey. Okay, back to the regular schedule program. We're about to cook. Okay, so now I am cutting them out of the packet. And it is two each in there. They're so, flounder is so light. I think the boys are home. The garage hubs went to pick up the boss. So you may hear them come in at any time, darling. And I'm going to, to get rid of that fishy smell and taste, I am going to put lemon juice in the water that I'm about to run over that just for a little extra precaution because I don't like the smell of isn't it weird it's fish but I don't want it to taste fishy anybody else understand what I'm saying if you know you know just because it's fish it does not let's put it this way it does not need to have that almost like it's tainted or something you know so I do a lot of hand washing in between everything that I do every time I touch something and all of that so y'all see a lot of that I'm going to go grab our lemon juice so that that's what I'm using real lemon juice real lemon and I don't, you don't have to put a whole lot. I put enough just to make it a little fishy. Hello, my darling. You wanna come say hi to you too? The boss is home, guys. Say hi. Why you got that hood on? How was school? Yeah? It was good? Did you get in trouble? No? Okay, good to hear. Okay, guys, so I'm going to let that soak a little bit. Then I'm going to get it. Do you guys want to see the seasoning part? I realize y'all keep asking me what I put on it. So, um, I'm going to do that for you today. I will let it soak a little bit in this so I can get that fishy smell, out, taste smell, whatever you want to call it, out of there. And then I'm going to go prepare my seasonings that I want to put on there. We're going to be seasoning on my large larger than life baking pan okay okay guys so i have seasoned them up and put some the grease is ready i almost forgot to bring you guys along <laughs> i was about to start dipping them all in there uh, i like for them to lay flat they're not cut. You have to excuse Justin, right? Get one of his mouth. That is land. That one didn't lay flat. So, let me let you guys see. I have a mess, but this is what I do. Season them up. Put um, hot sauce on it so that it comes out with that nice brown. And then I make sure that's turned down. I won't flip it until it's cooked a little while. And I'm going to go prepare my, while that's cooking, I'm going to prepare the, um, what do y'all call that? The salad, the salad, the salad. So, let me bring you guys closer. Sitting Okay, so I'm, that's what I'm filming. So I put them in there, and then we go like that, and flip it, because I don't want stuff on my hands, so, 
And then I kind of shake it up and lay it over there so that it's not on another piece. Okay guys, so far that's how much it's done. It's one last piece there and then I'm gonna plate it. Okay, so now we are about to plate it. Okay, so we are using the clear bowls today. There is some onions in it and also it is tossed in Olive Garden's Italian dressing. And then we're going to be putting our fish on this plate. Well guys, it's a wrap. We have eaten dinner. There's nothing left but onions. Thing is gone. And as I tell you guys, be better to yourself tomorrow than you are today. And y'all know it's never goodbye. I'll see y'all later.